Okay, in today's video, we're taking you through how to build massive rear delts. Let's go. Okay, so exercise number one is something that pretty much everyone can do. All you need is dumbbells and a bench. So we're gonna put a bench on a slight incline and we're gonna do a reverse dumbbell fly. And what I want you to do is internally rotate your hands. So your hands coming in and then up and slightly forwards, as you'll see now. So you internally rotate. Okay, so exercise number two, we're gonna do a reverse pec deck. Now, pretty much everyone has this piece of kit in the gym. Again, similar to the uh, dumbbell, where you're doing the reverse fly, what's important is internally rotating your hand. So as soon as I internally rotate my hand like that, it starts to open up my rear delt that comes on top, which is what we're trying to train to get that thickness through the shoulder. So we wanna internally rotate our hand and then protract the shoulder, push away at the beginning of the movement and drive through. One last take home point is on the reverse pec deck. There's chest pads here for a reason. So literally drive yourself into it to keep stable and try not to lift back as you're coming back with your hands. Try not to do this. Try to drive your chest forward as you come back. Okay, so next up we're gonna do a rear delt cable row. So we actually wanna lean slightly forward. And what we wanna think about doing is driving our elbow out as if we're trying to touch the walls with our elbow and keeping your elbow high. So that's how we're going to target a rear delt and upper shoulder rather than our elbows drop and pulling through our back. So as you initiate, you want to think about pushing the elbow out wide and then pulling through the rear delt. Using the appropriate weight and the right tempo is really the key to get this to work correctly. The last point as well is you want to use a wider bar and you want to grip just outside the shoulder width, not too wide because that will pull through your biceps, but literally just wider than shoulders and then drive out wide. Again, just think about pause at the end, pause at the start, have a definitive start and finish to every single rep and that will blow your rear delts up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a cable rear delt uh, exercise. So similar to the fly, you want to think about pushing away at the start. We don't want to be starting here from the retractor position because you start retracting your scapula back, what happens is you pull through your back, not your rear delt. So we want to isolate the rear delt, push forward at the start, and then really drive through wide. To help with the cable, um, what I would suggest you do is you have a good solid stance, slight tilt forwards, and then drive from that plane of motion. You want the cable slightly higher than shoulder width, and you don't want a lot of weight with this. You really just want to focus on getting the delt engaged and pulling through. I like to give the analogy when training um, to grow muscle tissue that you struggle to grow, because a lot of people struggle with rear delts. If you're watching this video, you probably struggle to train your rear delts. Think about it like fishing. What we want to do is we want to get the rear delt on the hook by initiating at the beginning, getting it contracted, and then reel the fish in all the way through the rep. We don't want to do what a lot of people do, a lot of people here in Dubai do, which is you fucking get the weight on and you just launch it through the sky. If you've seen that below, comment below, because I see this every single day here and it's completely bizarre and no I don't understand but there we go it's my rant over here's an example of how to do this okay, so the face pull is our final exercise in terms of building a rear delts really functional exercise and really good improving your posture if you're rounded in and internally rotated because you sit at a desk a lot. This is a really good exercise for you because it's gonna pull you back around into the right posture. Big thing on this is hand position. So you, what you actually want is your knuckles facing in at the start of the movement. Most people grip the rope wrong. So when you start, you want knuckles facing in because what we wanna do to engage your rear delts is drive outwards. If you're going like, you're gripping like this, and palms facing in, you're gonna end up pulling out with your back. So knuckles facing in, elbows high and wide. And again, the same with everything else. You wanna start, and 
definitive start and finish to every rep is really the key with this and keep a constant range of motion and think about the fishing hook analogy get the rear delt on there we'll reel it in and you're good to grow top five exercises to grow bigger rear delts. Make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get more of our videos going live. If you want more help with transforming your physique to build the ultimate body for the summer coming up, make sure you hit the link below this video. You can book in your free six pack stretch call with myself and the CJ coaching team. And we can personally guide you through my VIP coaching program, how we can help you transform from where you are now to where you want to be with speed and certainty. And we'll see you in the next video.